Hey, you got a big ass booty. <laughs> <laughs> Found something, sir. I believe this is part of a femur. So the remains they found in your dad's backyard. Oh, okay. Corroborate your story about that first victim. The hitchhiker. That's right. And uh, why did you scatter the bones around? Was it just to get rid of the evidence? Uh, well, I just kind of panicked at that point. But why scatter the bones around the entire yard? I think I just wanted him to still be around. I like the idea of little pieces of him being everywhere, you know, surrounding. This nigga has serious abandonment issues. That's where this all stems from. So, as you were cutting your victims up, was it sexually arousing for you? Hmm. Oh, yeah. It all I goes back sure. to that fish. I, uh... I liked how the organs looked when I held them. They had a, uh... a shine to mm -hmm. them. You know, there's a term for what you're describing. It's called splanchnophilia. When someone finds viscera. Splanchnophilia? What? What did you call it? He said splanchnophilia? No. Men in particular, we tend to like our objects shiny. And there's a sexual aspect to it as well. You open a swimsuit issue, women are all wet. Where's the gang? Well, no, but I think the, the, the wetness, I understand mm -hmm. that analogy, I think. Yeah. Be it gay or straight, I think it's, you know, there. 1978. Congratulations, everybody, by the way. Uh, you're the cream of the crop, huh? Okay. She just sidled right in there. Everyone smile and... Great. Let's get one more. Turn to page 36, the Honor Society photo. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> He's not, oh, it was a special know? photo. He's not a part of the honor society. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't see him in the photo. That's your goddamn job, Dan. Jeff oh shit! Like two GPA, Dan. That's something I would have done in school. <laughs> I would have stuck in that picture, like. <laughs> oh shit. Did they reprint all the books or something and walk them out? I don't think they reprinted the How books. How the hell did they do that? Dude? Or they just or they just put that on all of them before they handed it out? Gosh, they marked man. it out. Okay, gotcha. Apologizing in advance for dragging you into family stuff. You know. Yeah, because the school wouldn't well, have gotta be upset it. about yeah. it. You're miserable. You got divorced. You're moving on. She should be happy for you. No, she should be moving on. That's the thing, Sherry. She doesn't want me to be happy. And, uh... I bring a hot babe into the house. She's gonna see <laughs> 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 Well, so what if she does? Hot babe. I can handle it. Nigga, don't be mad. You wasn't a part of the honor society anyway. You can't just go jumping in photo bomb niggas. <laughs> Jeez. This house looks like a tornado hit it. Didn't know you guys were coming. What the heck's going on here? What's with all the alcohol, Jeff? Well, when did she leave? I don't know. Like three months ago. 
Damn. Yeah. I'm sorry, what? It's always been the same with her. The only person she's ever thought of is herself. And here she's leaving an 18 year old boy. I thought he was living with his pops. But what Nobody about you? You another one. You I laugh. Exactly. Like... Honestly, it's criminal. That she would do that. No, it's not criminal. He's 19. No, he's not. He's 17. He said 19. He's 17. He said 19. He said 19 just now? Because he was 17 when his mom left Hold on. in that car. Going back. Well, 18, 18 year old. So he turned 18. Either way, it's not criminal. No, <laughs> fuck that guy, yo. Fuck his dad. Well, that was the 70s, you know? Even still, like, yeah. There was that whole issue when it had to do with the whole, like... Yes, she's fucking crazy. But he knew she's fucking crazy. Well, remember that. so instead so of him being the same one, he was always blowing up at the mom when he knew she was nuts. And then on top of that, like, you over here blaming her for everything. But when she was leaving the courtroom, she told him, what are you going to do about Jeff? He's 17 years old. He gets to decide. Again, and he had told his dad that he was gonna stay with him. He was like, "So am I stay? I'm staying with you, right?" So that was his responsibility. At some point, he went back to his mother. He didn't go back to his mother. His mother left the house. But he didn't know that. He was in a hotel oh. fucking the girl. Because okay. that's what he yeah. was doing. Now, he left the house. They had, but they no, they had. Remember, they had already the, the divorced at that point, and she was awarded. Custody, custody. Of the kids. and then he asked her, "What about what Jeff?" About, and, what said, about Jeff? Out, and he please. said he figures exactly he it's his it choice. Out. Exactly. Yeah. So his mother left. He was not living in that house. She was saying that he was fucking with some chick in a motel, and that's fine because maybe he was, but they was not living in that he house. He said, "When your dad comes back, he was supposed to go back to the house." No, he wasn't. Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. That's probably what that's she what thought. That's what she said. Then that's exactly. probably what so she, she thought because she's a nutball. He... But he was never he... coming back. They got divorced. He was not coming back home. They got divorced. That doesn't and she mean got nothing. Custody. Just because they got divorced doesn't mean that he's not going to want to keep his house. He didn't keep the house. He was not coming back to stay there. He you was not that, coming back. They, there's nothing about that. That They never even said any of that. But None of that was They don't have to. It's implied. No, it's not implied. So wait a minute. When do two people get divorced, right? They get that divorced. That is not implied. You're not, what happened in that whole situation was not implied. She got divorced. They got divorced. It was not she implied got, that I he understand was not what living you're saying, in the house. But all I'm saying... Yes, it was. No, it was not. When she got the what the hell was that? A tincture? Oh. Um. Yes, it they got divorced. But she was saying, when your father comes back, it was most likely the fact that she was talking about him just being away. No. But not that he was still living there. No. We'll, we'll go You're back, implying. but I'm telling you, he was not still You're living there with her. Implications. That's not. You know what? We're not even going to say implications. Those are assumptions. I'm not, those are not assumptions. You're making assumptions. You're, 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 telling, you're, you're telling me these niggas. Think... <laughs> you're telling me these niggas got divorced. She got it custody don't matter. of the kids. Whether or not and he was still divorced. living there. The nigga was 17 to 18 years old. It, she could have left for good. <laughs> he could take care of himself. He's talking about his criminal. It's legally not. He's 18. But no, I'm just saying. Like, yeah, you're right. He's talking about, oh, she left, she left. But, nigga, where were you? Exactly. You're right. Where you're absolutely you? right. Where the fuck were you? But I love your father, which means I love you. Okay? Sometimes that's going to come in the form of tough love. <clears throat> I'll be like, bitch, shut the fuck up. Like, you just came here. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck are you? I just killed a man. <laughs> <laughs> well, what about community college? Community college, that's like... For failures. For <laughs> failure. Yeah. I mean, that might be where we're at. <laughs> yeah. Something wrong with me, Jeff, I think. Jeff, 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 come on, don't do this. No, I'm serious, Dad. There's there's things that I want to do, and and. Does he think he's telling his dad that he's? Does his dad think he's gonna open up and tell him he's gay? Yeah, I get you into a Ohio State. <laughs> uh huh. 
Yeah, I'll even pay for the first semester. Oh. Well, Got a great science program. Yeah. Who else is going to pay for it? What do you think? Huh? I think... I think that sounds good. Good? <laughs> it's decided, then that's what we're going to do. That whole thing was just weird right there. He... He's telling you about sexual fantasies and you stop and talk him, okay, you're going to college. <laughs> he doesn't want to hear it. I guess not. <laughs> stop starting doing push up in front of chicks. Time of your life. Oh, come on. This it's dude's just like freaking God, taking sake. sips and just throwing them well, aside. I gave you to come here. I know I got a call from the dean. It's all these morning classes. I can't wake up for them. Oh, hell no. What's your GPA? Jeff's GPA is a 0 0.45. Wow. Jesus. My father would have strangled me right there. He would have strangled my ass right there. Wasted my money, nigga. Okay. We're gonna get those grades up. <laughs> Mr. Donald, you don't understand. He's flunking Jeff out. Jeff has been expelled. Oh, shit. He's out. You're going in the fucking army. Okay. That's how it happened. Oh, look at that. Look at him. He definitely wanted his son to he wanted his son to do something with his life. Huh? Dan. Yeah. So handsome. Harry. Oh How are you? Hi, Jeff. Good to see you. Dan. <laughs> Jeff, gosh. You just he knew his son was gay. Thanks. He knew. Yeah. It's good to be home. Which one was that again? What was the name? Halcyon. We get great results. Very effective. You see, son, I told you. All that science stuff you've been interested in your whole life, I knew it was going to pay off. <laughs> well, they were right. <laughs> Come on, let's eat. <laughs> That's the shit he was giving to the, the black dudes. What? The drugs that he was giving to the black dudes, he was putting them in their drink. That's what I think that was. That was that shit that was making him, like, knock the fuck out or whatever. Tanner. Want a party? Yo, really? This nigga was pulling Bill, Co Bill Cosby's and shit. In the army. This nigga was giving soldiers the wibbity wops. Whoa. If that Tanner guy is real and he saw this shit, I know that nigga must have been pissed. Maybe you run into some of your relatives. Oh, you know, in the old country. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Germany. I was about to say, he's German? <laughs> Fucking, of course he's German. That makes sense. Can you believe it? Fucking Germans. Norm MacDonald was right. out of the car now he got discharged dishonorably or something because now his father's pissed again before we go in i just want to make myself very clear you understand this ain't easy street you're 21 years old you flunked out of college and you got kicked out of the army yep. there's no more free rides there's no drinking you're going to get yourself a full-time job and you're going to help your grandma around the house you got that Sir. Now I wonder why he got kicked out of the army. Did they find out he was gay? 
That's liver. So, you work in Delhi before? Yeah, in Miami. Just making sandwiches and stuff. Okay, you're making sandwiches too, but this is Polish Delhi. I had a pony. <laughs> <laughs> And he's real stupid. I don't want, I don't know what made him think she wasn't gonna go in that room. Now if he if she moves that mannequin, he gonna flip the fuck out. Where is my fucking mannequin? I told you not to go in there! That is my room! That is my stuff! So fucking tell me where it is! Oh, this is happening. He, this is not in his head. I threw it away. Oh, shit. God damn it! God fucking damn it! Don't you use the Lord's name in vain. Watch your mouth in Grandma's house. I'm assuming she told his father this shit. Where is the dad? Well, he just dropped him off there. I told you, when he's fucking up, his father don't want nothing to do with him. Now his grandma's terrified of his ass. Really sorry, Grandma. I shouldn't have yelled like that. Well, I accept your apology. But I don't like the cursing. You're alive. <coughs> oh, shit. Yo, please don't tell me he's doing that shit. Oh, yes, he is. Wow. No. Uh-uh. Get out. I got my shift. No. Jeff, I heard what happened. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit. shit. Oh. <laughs> I heard what happened at the state fair. God damn, no world travels fast. And there was no internet back then either. Doug uh, Brzezowski? That's me. I'm assuming background checks weren't extensive like that back then, like they are now. <laughs> Not everybody had a computer either. I mean, I get it. It's just like, damn, though. This nigga was in jail. They didn't know that. I used to do this all the time. Hmm. Get my blood drawn. And donated it. That's how I got my beer money. Did so much they told me I couldn't do it anymore. <laughs> He's like, cool story, bro. Wow. What? Oh. I hope he has a better hot spot. Their for blood, that. But... This nigga's a fucking vampire now. No, I'm saying like he's he's getting their blood. I mean, is he? Are they needing to get their blood drawn? Now I'm wondering. For him to. I don't know. I don't know how the hell he's getting away with this shit at all. What the hell is he gonna do with that shit? Get a box. Or is he gonna take a bath in it? Who's that? Uh, Susan Battery. Elizabeth Battery. Elizabeth Battery. Do not tell me this nigga's gonna jerk off with this shit. <gasps> what the fuck? Hell? I think I'm gonna fucking hurl. Oh, I don't like that shit. I don't like that. I can't look at stuff like that, even if it's fake. Oh my god. This man's out of his fucking mind. I mean,. That's already a given, we know that, but I didn't know it goes back this deep. This nigga drank. Mm -mm. This whole episode was uncomfortable. <laughs> like, no, for real. So far? <laughs> well, let's, let's go do something. You and me. Whatever you want. 
was gonna go out. Hey, Ricky. Hey, large room. <laughs> he gave him a key and a condom and a thumbs up. <laughs> For men. Is it a gay gym? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Didn't need to see that. <laughs> Do you mind if we just uh, lay down there in the bed? I can hold you. Yo, he came to give his fuck on. He ain't come for all this romantic shit, bro. That's nice. Still not used to this, you know? Yeah. Even at the polls, I just. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's a little weird because it's Don. Yeah, yeah. I and it's definitely that weird. factor. Could you just stay a little bit? I was really enjoying this. No. I gotta work. I don't want to hear this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I, right, I don't understand. I completely understand. Things. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. Like if they start paying, like, if they start playing just, Prince, like, I'm gonna get pissed can off. Just like play some Bon Jovi. Like, <laughs> so I don't have to listen to you. Like <laughs> Bon Jovi. <laughs> like what kind of Bon Jovi song they gonna play for this shit? I don't know. I was gonna say footloose. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think living on prayer fits you at all. I'm sorry, he didn't crush those good enough for it to be that powdery. And why wouldn't you do that before you got there? There's this guy who comes in here, it's the second time he's done. He slips him a Mickey and he just leaves him here. The last oh, time he shit. Left the guy up, but this kid's unresponsive. Well, at least he lived. Thank you. You gonna get arrested again. Get the fuck out of here. Oh. <laughs> You should run away from this guy right now. He brings guys in here and he drugs them. Oh, shit. You don't think you can go to Empire or Roman Bath. I told him about you. I said get the fuck out of here. I didn't do anything. Get the fuck out of here. I didn't do anything. Get it. your fucking hands off me. Oh, you shit. You want me to call the cops? It's nice to know they had some soldiers in the community back then who stood up against that shit, though. That's, that's awesome. Cause most guys wouldn't be gave a fuck. Man, whatever. Wish I could dance like you. Show me what you do. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> hey, you see. It's, you can't show bad dancing like that and not expect someone like me to laugh at it. So if you're getting mad that I'm laughing at bad dancing now, you can kiss my ass. What are you doing? Let's get the party started. <laughs> what are you doing? find out he took the wrong drink or did he put him in both yeah he took the wrong drink <laughs> this thing is, yo did they even do anything or did they just fucking get past did they get fucking drunk and pass out
Yeah, that's when look when his hand was beat up. Oh, don't tell me he beat this guy to death. Oh shit, he did something. Yeah, his hand is all fucked up. Holy shit. How the fuck did he do that with all that shit in his system? I don't understand. He could barely stand up. How the fuck did he get the strength to do that? Oh, God. This nigga pulled an Electra. Oh, don't tell me he put parts of his body in that fucking... He took out his heart and put it in that box. He took his fucking head. Yo. <sighs> what the fuck did he do with the rest of the body? So that was the goodbye box. That episode was very upsetting. That episode was... Like, like... I'm, I'm shaking. <laughs> yeah. I'm shaking. I am so fucking like... Such it, a mix of emotions. Like, I'm, I'm pissed off and everything. Like... This nigga... Yo, alright. So, in that episode, he went from being a vampire... To fucking Hamlet, and I ain't trying to make light of the situation. It's just that's 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 the way it it, it, it felt to me. Like I couldn't believe that this nigga drank the blood. I don't even no. I don't even like this this whole. And I'm I'm just I don't even want to have an opinion. That's how, I'm, like I'm so like this is so upsetting. Like even the whole episode. It's a mystery. It's just this, this, just this episode in itself. How the like, fuck? Like I don't why this? No, no, you can't. Like, how the hell didn't he catch AIDS? No, it's no. I'm not even thinking about that. that I, I, I'm sorry. I, I am. He was point, drinking like, blood. I don't even think of a this is the eighties. He was having like, all types of gay sex. But you know, you, you guys understand what I'm saying. In the '80s, that it, it was rampant. So from drinking the blood, but to, we to, don't know whether or not he was even having sex with these guys. Like well, so that, these that's guys were true. passing out. Like we don't know that is true. What was happening? But at the same, like, what well, at least with the ones on on the show through the episodes, because I mean, I, I haven't. What I, I I don't even remember the whole Dahmer. I mean, not not the whole Dahmer, but like the, the documentary that I had seen before. Like I don't even remember it. But this episode alone, like no, like yeah. Now I'm I'm all under. I, yeah, this <laughs> you know, you're what? Not, no, this this shouldn't even be a you show. Said, yeah. <laughs> this should not be a show. Like <clears throat> I don't, I'm so I'm like this oh is my this God. is I'm so. This is one thing that so I understood angry. from the first episode to this one. One thing I understand is that this nigga has serious abandonment issues. Like this is worse. This is this is no. This is beyond. This is no. I know it's 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 on a whole different level, but at the root of it, that's what it seems like. That's the story they seem to be telling. Now. None of this is going to make me feel for this guy. So, it doesn't matter to me. But understanding is always important. 
So understanding what you can't understand that. I mean, you, I you gotta you gotta that. try. You no, gotta try. No, I don't understand shit, bro. Hell no. Like yo. Because it's listen. It, no. It's not. It, it's understanding. It doesn't mean you're you're any way, shape, or form excusing the atrocities that yeah, happen. No, and, 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 you're just you know trying to figure out what made a person go down this route. Mm-hmm. And I guess if they're telling that, then that's the story they're trying to tell here. And there's some people who will watch this yeah, but what about and the feel blood bad. Drinking? But at, yo, the blood drinking right there, I, I listen, notice, if you notice, none of this shit can be traced to him watching specific movies or listening to certain music or comic books, video games wasn't out then, but this doesn't stem from, you know, him watching a bunch of shitty movies and, and, and devil worshiping music, they, you know, so they like to use that nowadays as an excuse, you know, they always try to find everything outside, you know, of, of, of the family or whatever to, to blame. You can't do that here. This is all, you know, it all comes from his family. I'm not saying that his grandma was crazy. She seemed like a nice lady. But from his mother to his father, that that those two definitely are the culprits in the, in this shit. If 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 I had to say if I had to say it, it stemmed from something, you know. If he if he was born that way, maybe they he examined his born. brain. I think part of it was that. I think Definitely, there was an issue. Like, she was on too many drugs while she was pregnant with him. Yeah. And that was and okay. And she, she even got, she was even on, um, like, they even gave her shots of methadone, they said, right? Morphine. No? Morphine. Who the fuck, like, even back then, like, you didn't know better than that? Like, who the fuck would do that? What, yeah, that, that, I think, yeah, I think. You can trace that shit other other than his upbringing. I think it, that's it, in it, utero. Yeah, that they're the, definitely that shit that they did utero. to her. But regardless, now, nah, yo, but, like, I don't give a fuck, yo. I, I don't even want to think about that. I was still trying to stay on my level of I am pissed off. <laughs> I I'm so upset about the show at the moment. Like I am. <laughs> like I'm really. I, it's no, 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 no. This shit no, is no, no, no. It's, it's some no. wild shit. And mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. what episode was that? That that one? That was the good vibe. That's only episode four. We got six more to go. So Mm-mm. <laughs> Mm-mm. I I'm only listen, I can't say that that was gonna be the worst one. I mean it's because... the good thing that they showed it at least because then yeah, because maybe people were kind of like would would try to be like empathizing at the beginning. No, but then after no, that after no, nah, they're not listen. They're not. Can't, can't they're not, not getting me. No, no. They, they, listen. Mm-mm. I don't know who the fuck these people are who sent this nigga letters, who are fans of his or whatever, or who had bleeding hearts for his situation. That shit. Listen. If I'm, I'm, I wish none of that. I, I wish none of that happened to his mom. I wish they never pumped him with fucking drugs, so he wouldn't have been like that. But other than that, that's the only thing I can say. I feel sorry for. You know, as far as his mindset or whatever, listen, I, I, the, the, people like to go by the legal definition of what crazy is. You know, they say if you planned it, if you tried to get away with it, then you can't be crazy. I'm like, that's bullshit. You can still be crazy and do all of that shit, you know? So. Who, who, who would say that? That's like a sociopath would be, like, sociopaths are messy, psychopaths plan. Either way, it's still nuts to me, no matter what, so. Well, that was the episode that really fucked us up right now. And um, we're going to gather ourselves and we're going to try to get to episode five. Uh, and listen, I'm not laughing at none of these victims. If anything, I'm just laughing at how the, the show is presenting some of this shit. I want, to, I want to make that clear. There's some people that think because I'm laughing at this, and even though I've said I shouldn't be laughing at it, that I'm laughing at these situations that are happening. Yeah, you no, know, it's, no, it's not no, that. No. It's just... The show just, you know, does things that... Laughter is not a, 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 a 
a definition of me thinking something is is amusing or mm -hmm, just thinking mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. it's okay. Mm -hmm. Some things are so fucked up that it makes you laugh, or some things no, are so ridiculous no. that you can't help but laugh. No, this, this, no, <laughs> no. Yeah. No. I'm sorry. It's like Kanye. I can't, I can't help but laugh behind, at that nigga right I can't now. Get you know? Behind you, I'm laughing on this episode. I know. No, not, I'm not. Listen, I didn't laugh. I didn't laugh at anything no, in the episode. You, no. But I'm laughing. What I laughed at were things that they did, the way they presented certain shit. I didn't laugh at the fact that this no. nigga had a head in the fucking. That's not funny. But that nigga dancing, that shit made me laugh because the nigga couldn't dance. But. This nigga had two victims prior to this shit. And he got worse and worse. I, I don't know. When I... This nigga so fucking kept the head, yo. I still don't understand how he did all of that shit when he was fucked up. He could, he could barely fucking stand. Hmm? He could barely stand. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't understand how the fuck he what he just blacked out and got retard strong or something. I don't know, that's a bad expression to use, but it's, I don't know. It's, I don't know, it's crazy. Anyway, we're gonna see y'all for the next episode. Like, comment, subscribe, go to therapy, get some help. <laughs>